Hello. In today's class, we will be discussing the difference between two of the most important terms in mechanics. They are rust and motion. I have seen quite often students getting confused about these two terms. Many of them don't know how to differentiate between the term rust and equilibrium. So in this class, we will try to clarify or we will try to get more insights into these two terms, rust and equilibrium. So let us start with equilibrium. All of you who have studied Newton's second law will immediately realize that according to this law, the net external force acting on a body is equal to mass into acceleration. So if a body of mass m is acted upon by a net external force, those two terms are very important, net and external. Those two forces, those two terms, net external force. Then certainly the body will have an acceleration. So once you see that a body does not have any acceleration, the only conclusion that you can make from that is the net external force acting on that body is zero. So whenever you come across a situation where the acceleration of a body is zero, immediately you realize that the net external force acting on the body is also zero. That's all what you can say about the state of the body. You should not jump into a conclusion that the body is in a state of rest or the body is in motion. Such sudden conclusions will lead to wrong answers. So don't conclude anything like that. When you see that acceleration is zero, say that the net external force is also zero. That is what Newton has said. Clear? Now let us come to the term. Now let us get more insight into the term equilibrium. So what does equilibrium mean? Equilibrium means the net external force acting on the body is zero. So whenever a body is in equilibrium, the net external force acting on the body will be zero. And immediately, the acceleration of the body will also be zero. So if a body is in equilibrium, the net external force acting on the body is zero and also its acceleration is zero. So that is the first point to remember. Equilibrium means net force zero, acceleration zero. Now let us come to the next other term, rest. What does the term rest mean? Very simple. Rest means the position of the body does not change with respect to the surroundings. You know that a body is said to be in a state of motion when its position changes with respect to the surroundings. So whenever the position of the body does not change with respect to the surroundings, it is said to be in a state of rest. So rest means position does not change with respect to the surroundings. And equilibrium means net force acting on the body is zero. Now let us try to uh, look at the differences between the two. Can a body at rest be in a state of equilibrium? Or a, can a body in a state of equilibrium be in a state of rest? Let us look at the case of a stone thrown vertically up. Imagine that you have thrown a stone vertically up. Let the stone reach the highest point. At the highest point, it will come to momentarily or it will be momentarily at rest. Because in order to start its downward journey, it has to come to a halt first. So at the highest point, it will be momentarily at rest. Now, is it in equilibrium? To answer this, we have to see whether the stone was being acted upon by any force while it was at the highest point. Now we all know that during the upward journey, as well as when it reached at the highest point, it is acted upon by only one force called gravity. So during the upward journey, the moment it left your hand until it reached the highest point, the only external force, we are neglecting the effect of the friction of air. So the only external force acting on the body was the gravitational force, which was pulling it down from below, which means that throughout the upward journey, the body was under the action of a net force and it had an acceleration, which was pointing downward. You all know that acceleration is a vector. So it was pointing downward. So when the body reaches the highest point and comes to rest momentarily, at that moment also it is acted upon by the force of gravity. The gravitational force has not disappeared. 
when the body reaches the highest point it is still under the action of the force of gravity which means that if the body had an acceleration while going upward pointing in the downward direction at the highest point also it must have the same acceleration pointing downward so at the highest point even though it is momentarily at rest it has an acceleration directed downward and that is minus g the negative sign indicate that the force was acting opposite to the direction of the displacement so at the highest point it has an acceleration minus g which means that since it has an acceleration it has an, it is under the action of a net force when a body is under the action of a force it cannot be in a state of equilibrium i told you very clearly that equilibrium means net force zero acceleration zero our stone at the highest point has an acceleration pointed downward so it must be under the action of a net force further it means that it cannot be in a state of equilibrium now is it in a position is it in a, is it in a state of rest certainly because at the highest point it comes to a halt momentarily its position does not change with respect to the surroundings therefore it is in a state of rest but it is not in a state of equilibrium clear now look at the other side can a body in equilibrium be in a state of rest of course why not see when we say that f equal to ma and when we say that acceleration is zero it means only one thing net external force is zero clear now when the acceleration is zero there are two sides to this when you say that a equal to zero all of you know that a equal to v minus u by t or delta v by delta t change in velocity by time so when the acceleration is zero it means two things v equal to zero or v equal to a constant clear when the acceleration is zero velocity can be zero it can also be a constant so then when the velocity is zero and the acceleration is when the, there is an acceleration when there is no acceleration and the velocity is zero then we say that the body is in a state called uh, static equilibrium when the velocity is zero and the acceleration is also zero we say that the body is in a state called static equilibrium but when the acceleration is zero and the velocity of the body remains constant it is called a dynamic equilibrium see we have now seen two different types of equilibrium this is called a static equilibrium and this is called a dynamic equilibrium what is the difference equilibrium means net force zero acceleration zero when the acceleration is zero velocity can also be zero that is called a static equilibrium but velocity can also be a constant that is called a dynamic equilibrium here you can consider a body that is moving with a uniform velocity what is the acceleration of a body moving with a uniform velocity zero is it in a state of rest no is it in equilibrium yes why because the acceleration is zero so the acceleration is zero but the body is not in a state of rest now look here what is the acceleration zero what is the net force on the body zero is the body in a state of equilibrium yes what is the velocity of the body zero so is the body in a state of rest yes so here the body is having both acceleration and velocity zeros static equilibrium here the body has acceleration zero but velocity is a constant so we have a state situation called dynamic equilibrium clear okay